Well, down here to service the TVs. Pretty hot out here. It's probably 95 degrees. Yours for the hearing. Come let Zoltar tell you more. not mine that's too new I didn't know they would take anything that new oh look at this it's like a modern crappy zenith that's the Chinesey Really? Wow. I've got competition. Okay, so we need to fix this one. already nailed my knob and maybe the maybe the people pulled it off Let's get this one working. Oh, here's a 16. 16 is dead. voltage is better here than it is at home. Uh, let's see. Okay, so on the Magnavox, the circuit breaker was open, so I bypassed it. But I got a fuse here anyway. I'm also going to delete the tuner and put fake knobs, and I'm going to pull these knobs and drop them down inside here so people can't turn and twist and push on anything. Who's doing this one here? It's hot, so it's tube. Is that sea lions have rotating hippos, 
Seals have no rotating hip bones and very short weak part clippers. Ooh, rotating hip bones. Okay, so we've gone with fake knobs on this one. This is the best I could do with what I brought down here. I've literally just used screw clamps and uh, big washers. Brought my box of knobs. Tuners here, they'll keep people from turning the knobs and screwing the setup. Take a look at the 16. Make sure they got the fans plugged in on the Zenith. Okay, they didn't have the fans plugged in on the Zenith. I guess I should have hardwired those. So let's see what's up with this. Well, this doesn't, it's not connected. That doesn't look promising. Yeah, so with this one, obviously they're pushing and pulling and turning the knobs. I don't know, I don't even get a raster on this one. So maybe the horizontal fuse blue. Uh, let's check that out first. This has a cathode current fuse. It also has a fuse over here, but I'm getting filaments. So, why don't I have any volume now? It's totally quiet. Okay, the brightness is turned all the way down. This is interesting right here, and this up here, I, I shouldn't have that. Lack of vertical and horizontal deflection. Um, see, none of these knobs, none of these knobs are really conducive to none of the shafts sticking out of these knobs are really conducive to, um, making dummies. Let me see, what can I do with this? Um, we've been, it's been sitting on top of that stack since 2010. Really, but it only, it only runs for a month out of the year or something? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, because that's, that's pretty interesting. Because they're the tube sets are really unreliable in general, right? And they need constant maintenance, you know. So I was just curious yeah. who put that one together. All right. Okay, so this one I put all fake knobs on the color and and you know. But these are, these are fake. I mean, you know what, it looks horrible, but it'll keep the kids from screwing with it. And these DVDs are only 20 minutes, and, it, and then it just stops. And at this resolution, I should be able to make this a six hour DVD.
I mean, this is just... I don't know, they're all working now. This one. Ooh, Sylvania super set. Not mine. Wow, that CRT is kind of dim. It's got a few hours on it. Geez, my pictures look better than the super set. Over here. And that one's got a better CRT in it. That one's got a good CRT. Good CRT. Is cremated. It's a weak CRT. the background Helix.
Pretty cool. Push buttons to activate train sounds. Oh yeah. There you go, radio, TV, phone, oh nut. That's all you, man, right there. Made by General Electric, too. You know that has a hot chassis. Oh, there it is.